Hello Folklore Founders. This is a slightly different video today. I am here in Cheltenham. Glorious, glorious sunny Cheltenham. It is autumn. It is October. We are on October the 9th today. And I am here as a storyteller and author for the Cheltenham Literature Festival. And there it is behind me in Montpellier Park. I was here last year doing the family storytelling over the first weekend and this year they asked me back, which I'm amazed at and honoured, to do the school storytelling. So I've been telling stories this morning and I'll be telling stories every day this week apart from Friday. They've put me up in an amazing hotel, Hotel de Vin. Proper lush. I get looked after as well, down in the writer's room. All the food I can eat, smoozing with fellow authors, better known than I am, and creatives, publishers, agents. It's just amazing. It is a literary dream. And then, on my time off, I get to explore this place. Regency elegance and splendour. It's amazing. Now I'm currently walking back to my hotel. I need to prepare for tonight. But before I tell you about tonight, let me take you round the festival site, round Montpellier Park. And you can see what the festival looks like. Here you go. Two books, Leicestershire Folk Tales for Children and Forest Folk Tales for Children, and they've both achieved decent success, enough for them to have second editions, which is great. Um, the second one, Forest Folk Tales for Children, you'll see was in the Waterstones Children's Bookshop, and I got to sign them so that they're ready to be purchased. Uh, but before this festival, I contacted the History Press, who I write for, and said, wouldn't it be great if we could have our own event which championed storytelling and folklore books and the importance of preserving folklore in books, but also through storytelling. They loved the idea, 
And so tonight at 8.30, I will be Maybe. chairing a discussion between Taffy Thompson, Anthony Nonson, Kirsty, can't say her last name. She'll correct me tonight, I'm sure. And Sally Pom Clayton, four authors of folktale books and storytellers far better than I ever will be. Taffy Thomas, having been the first storytelling laureate of the country. All four of them really know their stuff. I'm heading back to the hotel now just to put the finishing touches to the event to make sure I've got all the questions noted down, make sure I've got all their bios sorted, um, ready on my computer to introduce them. And the best thing about this is it's a sellout. Yes, it's the smallest venue they have, but it's a sellout, which is a start, which means that's an in for more of the same possibly next year or going forward. Um, really excited about this, as you can probably tell. Uh, I'll try and get some footage later on. We'll get something to insert in here. Uh, but for now, enjoy the rest of this video. evening now Monday evening I am all dressed smart ready to host uh, my event and I am on my way to the writers room the green room the backstage area it's down here look but you're not coming in it's a secret area see you soon And there we are. So it ends. A fantastic four days, four nights here at the Cheltenham Literature Festival. I walk off on a very autumnal day. I tell you, when we started, when I started on Sunday night, Monday morning was my first session. It was glorious. It was hot. It was sunny. Now, autumn has very much arrived here in Cheltenham. You can see the leaves on the trees, look they're turning beautiful colours. I've had a blast, I've seen many schools over the last four days, told many stories, um, met some many wonderful people like Michael Rosen in the loo, um, spoke to David Baddiel about God, folk tales and myths. I've spoke to some lovely authors, children's authors, adult authors, the odd publisher here and there. Hosted a wonderful event with uh, fellow storytellers and look forward to hopefully doing it again next year or not. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. I hope I can get into more literature festivals. This one is by far my favourite so far. Um, but for now, I'm going to put you away. I hope you enjoyed the look at Cheltenham Literature Festival. Um, come back to my channel soon for more folklore found. Back to the normal service. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.